Words I Never Said is the debut album from Ella Voss, who joins us here in San Francisco. Hi. Thank you for your time. Thank you. And welcome back. We are actually, uh, gosh, I want to say seven months removed or, or something along those lines of your last yeah. visit here. Yeah, right. And it's a different venue. And now you, every time you come back, it seems like a incremental progression. Yeah. And uh, how, how, first of all, how does that feel? And uh, part B, how do you prepare for these bigger audiences? Uh, well, it feels great. It feels cool. Yeah. Um, no nervous, no nervousness, no... Uh, I'll get nervous like oh. one minute before I go on stage. <laughs> now that I'm Literally. bringing it up. Yeah, probably like as I'm about to walk on, I get really nervous like just like what, what am I what am I doing what am I doing and then as soon as I walk on stage it's like oh okay it's all gonna be fine yeah. and I mean like really it's like the fans who make me feel that way that like calm I don't know because it's like oh yeah I'm just here to like do this with you this is kind of old hat for you though uh, for people that aren't familiar with your background you've been at this for some time yeah uh, off camera we we're talking about Borns and you were his keyboardist for a couple of his tours and yeah. you know gone around the country and those kind yeah. of things. So touring's not new. Right. Seeing big crazy audiences is not new. Yeah. Uh, having flowers and, and cards thrown at you, is, is that happening yet? That is not happening yet. Yeah. But I'm, I'm really angry about that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make sure Where's that happens. Where's my flowers? <laughs> we'll make sure that happens. Just kidding. <laughs> This album is getting a lot of attention. It's been many years in the making. Yeah. And we can basically track this by the age of your son. Right. Who helped inspire this piece of material. Right. Motherhood is, is I take it, going well. You're smiling. You don't yeah. look tired. And oh, thanks. Is he on <laughs> tour with you? No. no. Um, I don't think he would enjoy it. He's only two and a half. So he came. Two-year-olds would love it. Yeah. You should be busting in. He came to one show and like after 30 minutes in the green room, he was like, "I want to go home. Like, <laughs> what is this place? It's yeah. dark and cold, and you know, venues are you know a little rough still at this stage, it's like yeah. bars and stuff. Right. But when next to her, he'll probably come. And, but yeah, being a mother is great. Um, it has its challenges, but. It's so fun and like, I don't know, it's really cool to be doing this with a kid and like, I'm excited that he gets to see this growing up, so. Some of the tracks on the album are definitely fit for 2018 in regards to women's rights, you yeah. know, know about me, um, you know, that particular track and, and, and a lot of people have taken that track and used that as their anthem as well. Yeah. When was that written and uh, again, the aftermath. Right. So that was written in October of 2016. So right before the election. And when I started writing it, I I, I, I had that t the title. I had You Don't Know About Me. And probably the next day I watched this video of um, this interview of this, this woman interviewing an anti-abortion representative in Ohio and he was like talking about why he's so anti-abortion and um, and she asked him this simple question she just says why do you think a woman would have an abortion and he kind of stumbles around trying to answer and he ultimately says well I don't know I'm not a woman it's something I've never even thought about and it was just like oh, like what how do you how do you not think about that and it kind of was like, oh, this is the problem that we have right now. Like, we just don't listen enough to each other. Like, he obviously just hasn't opened his ears and listened to someone talk about this. Because otherwise he wouldn't think, I don't think he would think the way that he is. And so when I was writing that song, I was just, you know, I was kind of angry about it. But that song and the whole album is kind of like, yeah, we have to share these stories and we need to listen to other stories. and. That's the only way we're gonna grow and change, and yeah. So moving forward, like we talked about, a lot of this material, a few years old, a couple years old. Um, how, how are you dealing with the socio-political climate today, and are you penciling in some thoughts? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but um, 
I think I, I think I've kind of shifted into a point where I'm trying to just uh, learn a lot more and just like gain a lot of information and have like a better understanding. Um, so that's kind of where I feel like I'm at right now. Like I'm just always listening to podcasts and reading um, stories about um, things happening, I guess. And I feel like that's gonna probably work its way into some songs, um, but I'm not like, I'm not sure how or anything specifically, but okay. it definitely will. Good to hear. Yeah. Right? That it, it, it's either A, it's an escapism where we yeah. want to provide a different yeah. outlook for people, or B, you take internalize what you observe yeah. and, and reimagine it exactly. for others, right? So, yeah. Uh, we're very happy for your success so Thank far. You. And uh, like I said, amazing to see you play a place like The Independent. And, you know, hopefully next time around in San Francisco, you play the next step, right? Yeah. And you'll have that pre-show ritual where you huddle up and you get yeah. your son running around with yeah. his toys and your husband's there and you're like, all right, on three. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I can't wait for that. Cool. Yeah, me uh, too. Great to meet you. Yeah, you too. It is uh, Ella Voss, Words I Never Said, her debut album, and you're watching B-Sides on air.